that scripture. You look it up, it'll say the same thing, salvation. You got brothers that say Ahaya, which is I am that I am. Or I be what I be. But if you really get the language, you, you'll see that's, that's more of an adjective. Lord telling you I am what I am. I be what I be. Yes, but hey, peace of brothers that still call them Ahaya. Ain't got no problem with that. I know what you're talking about. You feel me? But when you look up the word Lord in that very concordance, over 6,000 times, it's going to say Yah, mm. Yahweh, or Yahweh, however you, want to, however you want to slice it. If you look up Lord in the concordance, from the very first entry to the last, it's in there over 6,000 times. The Hebrew word for Lord is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Some brothers more modern say Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahuwah, you're still saying the same thing. Transliterated Jehovah, same thing. All right, let's get to it, brother. Acts chapter 7, verse 42. Yes, sir. Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, mm. as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of 40 years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacles of Moab and the star of your God, Rimfrain, Figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away unto Babylon. Beyond Babylon. Beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness. Okay, so timeline. We in the wilderness right here you're talking about. Come on. As he had a point, uh -huh. speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen. Okay, we in the wilderness and it's talking about Moses, right? Verse 25. Which also our father that came after broke in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles. Is that talking about Jesus Christ right there? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Who came up after Moses? Joshua. Joshua. But in the New Testament, it's called him Jesus. That's right. Showing you that Jesus is the Greek transliterated, transliterated name of Joshua, which is Hebrew. Or Yahshua. Brother said Yahweh Shai is still Joshua. All right, come on, brother. Whom God drave out before the face of our fathers, until the days of David. That killer right there. You know it's not talking about Christ because it's saying until the days of David. Joshua came before David. All right? But to try the nail in the coffin, to really kill him, we're going to go to this apocryphal verse next. Sirach 26 and 1. I got it. And y'all also understand this. The quickest way of learning language is captivity. Yep. Yeah. Anybody that get a prisoner of war learns their language within 30 days. You can't get that with Rosetta Stone. <laughs> because captivity forces you to learn the language of your oppressor. Straight up. But you need to know what you're going to do to it. Absolutely. And you know what? You have to be real true to yourself, too, man. Because, you know, none of us, you talk about over 390 years separated from our oppressor in this captivity. So whatever we get back right now, especially in that language, you actually learn from somebody else, which still don't give you the authority to say you have the absolute language. You got different versions of Hebrew, you know, you got Paleo, you know what I'm saying, you got Yiddish, you know what I'm saying, you got all these different dialects, you know, because you came out of Babylon, and we always took on the mannerisms of that captivity. It was four years in the wilderness. It was a reteach of our, you know, our way. It's the same way we were so, you know, you, you say the name right, and then you speak the rest of the stuff in English, it's, it's a thought. Because then you add English to the holy name. That's right. Not too long ago, the FBI was hiring people to translate Ebonics. Right, yeah! They're exactly. exactly. people's phones, and they don't understand what they're talking about. So they trying to, just like when uh, on the radio a couple of days ago, when Eric Holder was here, and he talked to that, y'all seen him on TV, when he was up at Flow Valley. And... The guy that he show, they showed him shaking his hands, he had told Eric Coulter that if I ride through Clayton, down on Clayton Road, on the other side of 270, and I'm in a hoopty, I'm going to get pulled over. Mm -hmm. And the radio people couldn't even pronounce the word hoopty. What is this, a hoop tie? What is that? <laughs> what is a hoop tie? <laughs> and I'm sitting there laughing and, and wanting to call in the director. I'm like, no, nah, let them stay in their confusion. Read on. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> to, to what brother's saying here in his 46, if you look at the very beginning chapter, 
of this Sirach that we're in. It says the wisdom of Jesus, the son of Sirach. That's another Jesus right there. Right? Or Ecclesiasticus. Not true about this. When Daniel read the definition, he said the name of two or three other Israelites. All right, this right here is Sirach 46. I got it up here. 46 and 1. Let's see if Joshua is referring to Jesus again. Let's get it, brother. Verse 1. Jesus, the son of Nahum, was valued in the wars and, and was the successor of Moses in prophecy. Okay, who came out of Moses? Mm. Joshua. Joshua. Now he's, he's the son of none, but in this he called the son of Nahum, which is just another transliteration. All right, come on, brother. Who, according to his name, was made great for the saving of the elect of God and taking vengeance of the enemies that rose up against them that he might set Israel in their inheritance. So we got right there, you know what I'm saying, Joshua being referred to as Jesus. Right? We got Zephaniah 3 we went to earlier and it said, and to the Lord devoured the earth with the fire of his jealousy, then he would turn to pure language. Yes, right. You feel me? Brother uh, Nehemiah read Isaiah 28 and 11 with stammering lips in another tongue Will he speak unto this people? So we speak another, we speak the language of our oppressors. That's right. But the message in the scriptures is not changed. Right. You feel me? So, sister, if you gotta bring them, some of them scriptures out and see what their response is when you bring it out. And see, you know what I'm saying, if, if it's gonna be a response scriptural. You feel me? Again, we ain't against none of the names and titles that they call the Lord. I mean they call the ancient of days as well. That's right. I don't never hear nobody say that. They call Christ uh, Emmanuel as well, meaning God is with us. Let's just call him Emmanuel. Somebody still won't have a problem. Even, even calling him Emmanuel, the difference is in between the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is spelled with an I. The New Testament is spelled with an E. Right. It's the same thing. Exactly. Meaning, I is God. meaning the most high is with us. You feel me? Go ahead, sister. You know, uh, what you're saying is true because after speaking God before it, Conversation. And a lot of times they don't even know nothing else. Like even brother in my house. Don't say Jesus to me. He talking loud. I'm in my room. He talking loud. Of course I came out of my room to see who this was in my house. <laughs> After I got through with him, spoke a little Hebrew to him. I, he didn't want to hear no J, so I said everything without the J. Said it in Hebrew. He didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> I never heard him no more the rest of the time he was there. Didn't even know when he left. <laughs> The name of the Lord was spoken, it was never pronunciation. It was always the act of father that would prove you were saying the correct name. You know, so it was always works that followed it. Yep. You know, Christ said, y'all call me Beelzebub. That's what they call Christ, chief of the devils. He said, you call me what you want to call me, but check my works. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Check the works of whatever's calling. If we, if we say Jesus, check our works. Is our works of Zeus? Right. Or is our works of, of the commandments of the law? That's right. That's the bottom line. And they get back to where you just sit still and just say, well, if, if, if I'm doing the work, if you call me, I'm saying I'm calling on the devil and doing the works of the law, and then I'm helping you out. Right. Regardless of however you say it, <laughs> I'm destroying Satan's house. <laughs> so it, it's a plus either way you look at it. All right, this next one we're going to get, then we're going to get to our top, Matthew 11. Oh. One through six. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. 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 We're going to get this last, one last little spot, and then we're going to get to our top and get hand crying out to Yah, the most like. That's right. Let's get it. Matthew 11, one through six. What is John the Baptist? John the Baptist knew how to pronounce the Messiah's name. in the right. Huh? We still had a question on who he was. That's what they understand. Look at this, Moses. The Most High told Moses three different names, and he still was opting out. Yeah. But after the Most High said, "Well, tell him this, tell him that, tell him the God." But what if they still don't believe me? Yeah. He said, "Well, I tell you what. Take that staff first. Put your hand in your bush, yeah. and then take it out." They believe then. After all of that, he still went. But they ain't going to talk about stuff. Don't worry about that either. Moses is 
I mean, Aaron is eloquent. He's going to be the mouthpiece. So it still come down to, and if you go into Pharaoh, what language do you think they were talking to Pharaoh in? Uh, Hebrew or Egyptian language? Oh, Egyptian language. Or there had to be an interpreter there. What saying this Hebrew? I don't understand none of this. <laughs> Look, Rachel Edmund, the top dope dealer, all in, they interpreted his language of pig Latin. That's how they brought him down. All of they did was go to seven, e they he they he the be they Baby, 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 baby. That's the end of that. They got some interpreters, what this means. There's two pounds coming in on this date. Right. And they took them out. Right. 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 <laughs> Boy, it sounds like Biggie Smalls. Baby, baby. 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 I was thinking more than three students. I just didn't do it. Matthew, the 11th chapter. Matthew 11, Matthew 11, and this is going to what Brother Daniel was talking about, it's the works that I did about the law, right? We ain't never against the Hebrew language, we ain't never against you saying the Lord's name in Hebrew or none of that. But we catch, we, we come under fire because we'll read in English. For one, we got new people coming here every week. Thank you, that's right, you. You feel me? So if I may hear you, I'll go by, send me out with Shabbat, Rakadam, Kwam, Yasha, Allah, Mishpah. Right? I don't even know what that is. Right. <laughs> I'm speaking in another, we know <laughs> he's speaking, he's speaking in another tongue right there. What did that prophet you if you don't know, I ain't saying that, but all praise of the most high. In the name of his only begotten son, bless you, rise Israel, found. That's right. See, the order would be, since you said you knew what he said, you would be the interpreter to the rest of us. So that we don't, that we can trust him for what he just said. Right. Don't say this before we move on, Revelation 9 talk about uh, the beast that is sitting out of the bottomless pit. It says in the Hebrew, his name is what? Apollyon. And, and in the Greek, his name is Apollyon. Mm -hmm. So if I say Apollyon, it's still going to be whatever the works this Apollyon is doing. If it don't agree with Abaddon, it's talking about the same thing, but the works is going to tell you what it is. It's still that dog from the bottomless pit, yeah. whatever you call it. You call him Bobo Johnson. <laughs> if he comes out of the bottom of this pit, That's there's a work he's going to perform. <laughs> right. Let's get it. Matthew 11, 3, 1 through 6. The book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 1. Everybody know y'all mind? I heard they just one. And it came to pass. When Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their city. Mm. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, what of Christ? The works of Christ. He's hearing. It's got to be him. Works going down. That's right. Right? He locked up in the hole and he hearing through the wire. Hey, he getting it in out of it. Right. Right, the works of Christ. Come on, bro. He sent two of his disciples. Right. And said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Good question. I took off this. He done baptized beside everything. Mm -hmm. Huh? Saw heavens open up, saw spirit descending like a dove, all that. Right? And guess what he still asking? He hearing the works, he sent word to his disciples, asking, Are you the one we looking for? That's right. Or do we look for another? Right? How did Messiah respond? Yeah, that's me, Yahushua. Mm, Jesus. Right, right. How did he respond? Remember, he heard about the work that was going on. So he asked, Who are you? Are you the one that's supposed to come? Or do we look for another? Mm. Right? Answer. Come on, bro. Jesus asked and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see. Let him know what you hear and what you see. Come on. The blind receive their sight. Mm. And the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Mm. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. That's why the Christ answered. He mm. answered with the work that's going on. That's, that's right. right. The dead are raised up, the lepers are cleansed, <laughs> the blind see they sight. 
the works that I do testify who I am. That's right. Not the name. Not what? just because you run around what? saying, remember, Yahusha or Yahshua or Yeshua was the name of three other Israelites as well. That's right. So the name that you call on is the authority or the character of the Lord. Name means authority or character. How, what, what was Christ displaying to prove who he was? He was doing mighty works of the Lord. His father. That ain't been seen until this day. No. All right, the last one we're going to go to, Isaiah 34 and 16. We're going to get to our top of your hand. Isaiah 34 and 16, because this is what it comes down, come down to. Do you believe the Lord is all powerful and all knowing and preserve his record? Do you believe that? Yes, or do you believe some heathens just craftily got together, yawned, and said, we're going to come up with something called Bible and Israelites and laws and God, and then it's going to dictate world prophecy and all. Right. Somebody just woke up and wrote the Bible or something. It don't work like that. That's right. Men wrote the Bible, but the holy men of God spake as they was moved by the Holy Spirit. That's what the Bible says. That's what it says. No, man wrote the Bible. Man wrote everything you read. So, okay, let's get down to what we're really talking about. What spirit was on man when he was writing? What inspired him to write? Look, and then they go to the Strong's Concordance and wrote this. Right. <laughs> right. James Strong. A <laughs> man. A man. A Greek man. <laughs> be precise. And you proving out of this. See, it's an oxymoron, y'all. Like jumbo shrimp. It just don't make sense. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you say it all the time. I'm like, what's he How are you going to give me a more fatter piece of nothing? <laughs> <laughs> and you convincing me just a little bit more of nothing. It's great. <laughs> Isaiah 34 and 16 is what it comes down to. Do we really believe that the Lord is powerful enough to preserve his record? I trip off what the Lord said through the mouth of his prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 34. Start at 16, bro. The book of Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Yes, sir. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And what? And read. Come on. No one of these shall fail. None of these scriptures will fail. Do you believe that though? Mm. It says, seek ye out the book of the Lord. That's what you need to be reading on. The next breath say, won't none of these fail? Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. None shall want her mate. You don't need to match it up with that, brother. I guess the Bible, but I got the Quran out of here, and the scrolls of Buddha, and the metal net up, huh? and the book of Mormon. You don't need to make the Bible up with nothing other than what the Bible talks about. That's right. You feel me? There's other books in the Bible mentioned in the Bible. The Bible testifies of what it is. You ain't got to bring no other doctrine and ideology in and say, okay, yeah, this is next to the Bible right here. Mm. Y'all remember the book of Eli? He didn't give a hell about none of them other books they was bringing in. Okay. What do you want? He said, man, I want the book. I can get the book. Look, it was a, it was a cat that was with me. But he already knew. Look, I can get, look, the book is powerful. I can manipulate the book and control their minds. If need be, Look, they came, the dude came with a backpack, dropped the Da Vinci Code, the Quran, Time Magazine, right. and throw all that trash. I don't want that. Drop Scientology on that. That Ron Cuba died. I don't want that. I want the Bible. Will Smith bought that. He said it's 99% like the Bible. 99, you sell it for 99? Yeah, right. You in the jungle shrimp again? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's start from the top of the verse again, bro. Verse 16. Yes, sir. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Right. For my mouth it hath commanded. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Lord mouth commanded that you get this book right here? Mm. Mm. My mouth commanded. That's right. Come on, bro. Give me from the Start from the top. <laughs> <laughs> bro, make sure you listen. You listen. <laughs> Verse 16 again. <laughs> Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. See, the Lord's spirit, the Lord put the spirit out there for men to write the Bible. That's right. Whether it was Isaiah, Jeremiah, or Dime. 
Even when even King James, when, when he had the Bible translated, he didn't write nothing. That's right. He had it translated, had scholars translate the Bible from Hebrew into English. Amen. Amen. Right? So that was the Lord moving on him. Because when you get into the history, he was at war with who? The Roman Catholic Church. Going to the history. Some of the brothers in here got the history on what really happened. That's right. All right, come on, bro. Verse 17. Yeah. And he had cast the lot for them, and his hand hath divided it unto them by lot. They shall possess it forever. From generation to generation shall they dwell therein. So, so sister, do we got some type of understanding concerning, uh, you know, those that try to come and say, we've got to say his name like this. You got to say his name like that or his son's name like that and try to play the Jedi mind trick on us as if we <laughs> violate three names. Absolutely. All praise to the most high as long as you got some. Amen. That's about this. All you do is take them very scriptures we just went and it's plenty more. That's right. It's a game of Take them scriptures right there and see when you dialogue with them, they have an answer scriptural. You feel me? And that'll kill all that. You feel me? And let them know so when you find the answer, get back. You feel me? Okay. Psalms 119 and 140 and also Proverbs 30 and 5. Yes. Y'all understand this. Whenever we was in captivity, when Daniel was in captivity, when Joseph was in captivity, whenever they went before the king, was it when they spoke about the name of the God, did they give a name or was it the mighty works that the God put on him? Yeah. What, what gave favor with Joseph? What was Joseph able to do? And uh, that, that made faith won't believe that his God was God. Was it just how he said the name? No. Jehoshua! No. <laughs> and faith won't say the way you just blurted that out, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> or was it the interpretation of them dreams that his traditions couldn't work? What about that? Did he haul it out? Or was it him in the lines being like this, world of the hungry lines like they were moving on the <laughs> See? See, you ain't got you don't have to be like our people don't have to be scared, you know what I'm saying, to put their trust in the scriptures. You know, if you know, if you study it and you got full belief in the Lord, the answer's in there. That's right. Right? You may bump into something that may rock your cage one time. What that mean? You feel me? Have the patience to pray to the Lord for the understanding and get on your research. Get on. That's right. Have the patience to receive it, though. So many people give up. I just can't. I can't take it anymore. Lord. Right. Tired of praying. <laughs> Me, you tired of praying. You are you 25? Mm. <laughs> tired of praying. Right. Uh, 30 years old, tired of praying. Even if you're 50 or 60, you mean you tired, tired. of praying? Right. You must ain't been reading about these brothers. Feel me, Abraham and them. They right. had the straight like wait on the Lord to bring his promised son. 25 years later. You feel me? A lot of people lose patience. Patience is a fruit of the spirit. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord don't work when your time clock is you think you're gonna rush. Huh? He bring it when you can accept it, so it won't destroy it. When you're ready to receive it. Then it comes. So the whole time between it, he just forming you and molding you. So you can be that vessel to receive what it is he's going to bless you. That's right. It got to be like that. I mean, if, it was a, if the law was a light switch, then guess what? Everybody be down with. But the fact that he made you get down in his time, you feel me? And you got to display some patience. People don't like that. You feel me? People don't like that. You got to have patience dealing with the Lord. That's the most high power. How you rushing him? Right. And they stretch the heavens out like a curtain. How are you rushing in? That's right. You don't make sense. You got some message. No, I was just going to say that the same way what you just spoke of, he asked Job the same thing from chapter 38 to 42. Yeah. is questioning Job. What was you have when all this took place? Right. You got an answer? Well, just, just tell me what you, what the deal is. How the heavens stretch forth? Same way it's said. You know, count the raindrops. Let me see you measure fire. <laughs> Put that on the map and tell me how much it is, and then I'm gonna send this much measure of fire to this area and burn it up. Straight up. So long we got understanding, that was some good scriptures too. The Proverbs 30, right? What is his name and what is his son's name? If you can tell, but first before they go into how every word of the Lord is pure. 
That's right. And you either believe that or you don't. You know what I'm saying? People out there, Jedi mind tricks, can say it again. So you can be up under the eight nine. <laughs> Fearing, but there ain't really no camps in Israel, man. It's, we all under Christ. That's right. Christ is under his father. Right? So it ain't no camp. We, we call the Israelites not an alphabet click. Right. <laughs> alphabet click. Why? Everybody got titles now. You got the G O C C, G M S, I S U P K, and the I S H P K, and the W G N, and the B O C C, and the B R O C C. Right. It's the alphabet click. Who you riding with? I'm riding with the Lord. What you mean? Right. We're going to come on down to St. Louis and get you brothers together. We already banging, man. We good. Right. We good. We trying to come in and then come up on this. So y'all so so can expand yourselves. Yeah. And have the St. Louis child. But hey, right on for the you know, shout out. You understand the work you're done. We're going to keep it moving. All right. Let's get, let's get into this. Our topic at hand. Crying out to the most high. And in times like this, you really need to know how to cry out to the Lord. That's right. Because what you going to do? A lot of people are mad about what happened to our little brother two weeks ago. And what happened to the other brother, not even ten days later. Gun down, review and make learn. A lot of people mad, brothers mad, ready to go to war. You ain't ready for war. That's something you ain't ready for. You're not ready for war, so get that out your mind. So if they, got, if they out resources, if they out gunners, if they got all that over us, what's on the table that you got? You got to go, right? Every time when our back was against the wall, our people cried out to the most high and he started handling some business. That's right. Why wouldn't your prayers be that? You feel me? I mean, the people just ready, man, fuck we're gonna go to war. I'm like, well, who asked the Lord to deliver our enemies to us? Who asked the Lord to destroy our enemies? Who? Crickets. Oh, we're gonna go to war. We ain't even prayed about it. What's going on? That's right. We ain't had no counsel or nothing. We just gonna jump out here and do what? Hey man, it looked like Iraq. That first night before all them boots was on the ground, they was shooting all that tear gas. I'm like, man, we looking at Iraq. That was Ferguson, Missouri. It was more peaceful than Iraq. It was down there. That was crazy. There's a treaty going on. Look, y'all, it's, it's, it's what it is. It's going two times to the Jew first and then the Gentile. Tribulation and anguish to the Jew first and then the Gentile. So the most high that you know that there was a crime committed before he was killed. But tribulation and anguish to the Jew first. We had to go through. He get put down. Mm. And then the tribulation is coming for who put him down. Yes, sir. Because yes, we sir. have to be, our hands have to be without spot or wrinkle. Mm -hmm. we, we can't show this wrinkle over here and don't show our spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our God is first. Mm -hmm. And he said, blessing, honor, and glory to the Jew first. And then the Gentile. Mm -hmm. So he's firing to us, y'all. Right. And we got to answer about our part in everything. No doubt. No doubt. Because that's the bottom line. Had we done what we supposed to do, that would have never happened. Right. You know, right. That's something that's something Israel don't want to deal with. You know, we're gonna go out and talk about all the injustices that's happening. We bring everything on the table. Right. Right? Y'all already go march, no justice, no peace. I ain't heard nobody say nothing about the 10,000 brothers that was murdered at the hand of other brothers since Trayvon Hunt died. Mm. Right. I ain't heard nothing that Al Short tongue ain't show up. No justice, no peace, nothing. It's like those stages, Yeah, now come on now. Like, we ain't talking about none of the injustices going on. We just want to talk about the ones we don't like. That's right. We're going to talk about all of them. We're going to talk about how we need to get ourselves together and how we are asking the Lord to deliver our enemies. That's right. To destroy our enemies. Right. Why is that? Because guess what? That's the only weapon you got. What are you doing? Right? They obviously they've been deputized to ride through and they looking for an excuse to kill brothers. That's right. Yep. That's obvious, right? So what are we supposed to be doing as saints of the Lord? Start looting? That's right. Yeah. Protesting? Yeah. What are we supposed to do? We supposed to cry out to our God like our forefathers in time past. Confess our sins and the sins of our fathers. That's right. First. And, first and cry out to the Lord that he destroy our enemies. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That sounds real harsh today. Why would you do that? Hmm. Now, let's go read Psalms 109. Let's start there. We're going to run through it. We're going to show you every time we was in trouble, but well, most of the time, we can even get to get away. When we was in trouble and how we react, right? We're going to loot first in markets. Psalm 109. Still a cash register. 
Huh? Do we repent to our God and ask Him to cover us in the day of battle? Think about this, y'all. We're saying, look, ain't no black police, 53 to 50 of them and three of them only black. Well, when you go to say I'm going to the police academy. No! Sell out, get 